And beyond the upheaval at the CDC, we're getting a better sense of what the future may hold for combating COVID, with plans for a new booster to be offered soon. For more, I'm joined by Dr. Ashish Jha, the White House COVID response coordinator. Good to have you here. Doctor, before we talk about the updated vaccines, let me ask you about this admission by the head of the CDC that the agency missed the mark in its COVID response, especially when it came to communications. But is it just the CDC? In your opinion, has a whole of government failed on some levels here? Yeah, so let's, start, let's remind ourselves that Dr. Walensky, the director of the CDC, asked for this review of, of the CDC. I think that review was uh, very uh, well done. Uh, it laid out areas where the CDC needs to improve. And the bottom line is that she's committed to making those changes. And I think that's really important. To your broader question, yeah, you know, our government agencies um, weren't designed to manage a once in a century crisis like this. And I think while many of them performed admirably, there is no question in my mind uh, that, that these agencies agencies could have done better. All right. If I can, let me turn to the vaccines now. We've been told that a dual strain version, if you will, covering older variants as well as Omicron may be ready in just a few weeks. Who will be the first in line? Is this essentially going to be a third booster? Yeah, it's a, you know, Lester, here's why uh, the FDA has pushed us to uh, build these vaccines. So the, the bottom line is that this va- uh, virus has evolved substantially since the first vaccines were built. This is why we've seen waning immunity. The vaccines that are coming in a few short weeks are specifically designed for the virus that's out there. And I believe it's going to be available and, and every American uh, over the age of 12 will be eligible. Will this mark the time to retire what we now think of as fully vaccinated, those initial two doses. Two shots is not enough. Uh, People need at least three. Uh, I think three provides that very high level of protection. And then just like the flu vaccine where people need to get updated once a year, uh, we probably need to continue to get updated with COVID vaccines on an ongoing basis. All right, Dr. Ashish Jha, thank you for coming on with us tonight. Thank you, Lester.